Hello and welcome, my name is Sunshine, the project manager of Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a mini biodigester for the production of cooking gas. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you can have instant access to our videos each time we upload them. A biodigester is used in the production of cooking gas such as methane. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of how to construct a mini biodigester. To watch a video on how to produce cooking gas using the biodigester, I've dropped a link in the description box below this video. Click on that link to learn how to produce cooking gas using the biodigester. Biodigester can be made from the following materials. These are 20 or 25 liter water bottle or jerry can, 3 over 4 PVC pipe and caps, gas valve or bouncing burner, T valve, 3 over 8 PVC hose, funnel and tire tube. The diagram you are watching on the screen right now is the flow diagram of a 20 litre mini biodigester. Now this is the feed inlet and the cap from where we can feed the biodigester with feed that is the biomass feed stock. This is the feed outlet and the cap. The inlet and the outlet are made with 3 over 4 PVC pipe. Now this is the gas outlet. The gas outlet has two 3 over 8 PVC holes. One goes into the reservoir which is the tube and the other goes into the gas valve or Bunsen burner for testing the gas. Now this is the tube which serves as the reservoir. Now let me show you how to construct the biodigester. The first thing you should do is to cut out the two holes, that is the feed inlet and outlet. Now make the gas outlet hole.
Now cut your 3 over 4 PVC pipes. Now plug in all the pipes into the various holes and seal with gum properly. Make sure all the holes are properly sealed with gum. Now connect the 3 over 8 PVC holes to the T-valve. And now ladies and gentlemen, your biodigester is ready. Now let's go over the precautions you will take in the construction process. 1. When constructing the biodigester, make sure all the holes are properly sealed to avoid oxygen from the air from going into the biodigester. The presence of oxygen in the biodigester can affect the formation of cooking gas. 2. Paint the biodigester color black or simply use a black color water bottle or jerry can. This is to avoid ultraviolet light from the sun from penetrating 
into the biodigester. The presence of UV light can lead to the formation of green algae. Green algae during photosynthesis can introduce oxygen gas into the biodigester and that can affect the formation of cooking gas, which is methane. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can also visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.